All right, what up, teach some gang? Hope you guys are having a great Monday morning. Do a little quick little morning coffee talk, all right, this morning. It's, uh, a lot of these coffee talks are going to be about the similar things, guys, all right? I repeat myself a lot on here, and the reason I do that is because, again, like I say to you guys, this is self-talk also, all right? I'm not talking just to you guys. I'm talking to myself. Every day I need to be reminded of these things, right? Sometimes every day I go a minute. All right, so again, we're going to go a little bit over about what I do on here, why I do it, and what we're about over here on this channel, all right, men of action. First off, one of the main reasons I'm on here is for fathers and husbands, all right? And one of the also main reasons I'm on here, and my goal is to get these fathers and these husbands that are on here listening to me, when they go back to their houses or when they get off here, when they're doing their daily lives, that something changes, something clicks, right? And their wives notice it, and their kids notice it. And whatever I'm telling you guys, they don't know what I'm telling you guys, but they want you to keep coming back for more, right? They want you to keep coming back for more because whatever I'm telling you is working. That is my goal, all right? My goal is for you guys to be the best that you can be for your families and for your communities, and above all, for God, right? This is what this is all about, gentlemen. That's why we do what we do over here, and we're called men of action, right? Because like I always say, there's plenty of daggone a bunch of little boys running around here in men's daggone bodies, all right? I was one myself, all right? And that's, again, why I do what I do on here, all right? I've been addicted to pain pills, all that stuff like that. Guys, I've been through it all, all right? I've been through all that stuff, all right? And that's why we're on here to help motivate you guys to not go down that road, or if you are going down that road right now, that get out of that, right? And if you feel that you can't do it, to know that you can, because if I can do it, I promise you guys can do it too. All right, and that's when I say that on here, guys, I'm not lying to you guys. I promise you, I really truly mean that. If I can do this, you can too. I am not daggone special. All right, and I'm gonna let you guys know straight up too, you ain't special either. So get that through your daggone head now. We got a, we got a big problem with that around here, guys. About thinking about how special we are, how we deserve this and that. All right, you know, you deserve to put in a daggone work for your family. That's what you deserve. All right, but anyways, guys, so again, we're gonna talk about what it is to be a man, right? Being selfless, being that, as I always say, that servant leader. The servant leader. And who do we follow for that? Who is the ultimate man? Who is the ultimate man we want to follow? Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. All right? He was the ultimate servant leader. All right? Knowing that your life is not about you. It is about what you do for others. That is what life comes down to. Purpose. Doing things for other people. All right? Trust me. That's what it's all about, gentlemen. Service to others. All right? Especially trying to help other men to get to that point. Right? To help other men find their purpose in their life. To, other, to help other men be the best leaders, protectors, and providers that we need. Dude, I'm telling you, that's what's wrong with all of society right now. Is men are abdicating and, and going away from their roles as the fathers, as the husbands, as these leaders, protectors, and providers. Because that's what we are. That's what God called us to be, gentlemen. All right, so let's dag on be it. All right, if you need any help with that, I got you, man. Just message me on here. And you also need to go start one of these Dagon men's group in your Dagon neighborhood. Or find one if there is one in your neighborhood. Maybe you're lucky enough you have one already in your neighborhood. All right, you need other men to talk to about these things, to come out with your problems so we can find solutions to these Dagon problems. Because that's what it's about. We are also the problem solvers, gentlemen. Don't you forget that. We are the problem solvers. All right? And I know all this sounds hard, and you're like, dang, man, I don't want to do it, and it's tough. It is tough. It is simple, though. It's not easy, as we always say on here. All right, trust me. There's plenty of times of the day where I'm like, man, I don't want to do that, right? Of course I don't want to do it because I don't want to be a man. Nobody wants to be, nobody really wants to put into work. Nobody wants to be a real true man and constantly put into work and put yourself aside and put your ego aside, right? And put your pride aside and just dag on do it. I get it, man. Trust me. I get it. Dag on it. I get it. You know what I'm saying? But this is what it's about, all right? But it's about getting up every day and trying our daggone best and going back to it and getting back after it. Just like being Christian, right? Just like trying to live like Jesus. We're going to fail every daggone day, multiple times in a day, sometimes multiple times in a daggone minute. I know I do anyway. That's not the point. The point is to keep trying and keep doing better and try not to make the same daggone mistake twice. That is the goal. We are not perfect and we are never going to be. So get that out of your get that out of the way, guys, all right? And all these fears and anxiety and stuff like that, man. We got to put this in God's hands, man. We're always dwelling on the past, right? Never looking. And we're always looking at the future. We're never right here in the moment. That's where we got to be, guys. Right here, right now in the present, right? It's called a present. It's called the present because it's a daggone present. Do you understand? The past is the past, right? We need to re re remember the past, right? Remember our mistakes. We don't want to repeat those mistakes, right? But we don't need to dwell on it, man. We need to move on, all right? 
you can change anytime you want to. People can change. Maybe you have changed. Maybe you are changing, all right? Let's not dwell on the past, right? We remember the past, right? Remember our faults. We remember our failures. We try not to do them again, but don't dwell on it, guys. Don't sit back there and think about it too long, all right? It's time to move on. It's time to put in action. That's what this is all about, dag on action, all right? We can talk until we're blue in the face, but are you about it? Are you being about it, all right? So a little more on that. What does that mean? I'm going to try to keep this short, guys, about 10 minutes, all right, on here. What does that mean? If you're a father, if you're a husband, all right, I get it. You go to work all day. You come home from work. You're tired, especially if you're a blue-collar guy, all right, like I always was. I always did landscaping, right? So I get off work, man, working 10, 11, 12 hours in the hot-ass sun. If you're like me, you were working out before you got, got to work. I also have insomnia, right? This isn't nothing new. I've been doing this shit for years, guys, right? When I get off work, I didn't want to do shit. I get it, dude. I'm tired. I've been sweating all day. All I do is want to sit my ass on the couch and relax. But guess what? Nope. I, that's not the life I chose. I didn't choose a single life. I'm not sitting at home by myself. I got a wife and I got a kids. So guess what? Again, it's not about me. Of course, that's what I want to do, but it's not about what I want to do. It's about what I'm supposed to do and what needs to be done. And there is lots and lots of work to do when you get off work. I would say it's all just begun because this is when the real work comes in. This is when it really is. Are you going to be about it or are you not going to be about it? This is when it really comes in. This is really when it's, when it's crunch time. All right. When you get off work, when you get home, you're tired, you don't want to do shit and you get up and you do that shit anyway. Right. You get up. You take your kid outside, whether that's maybe you got a son, maybe you teach him how to work out, maybe you're shooting basketball with him, maybe you're tossing baseball with him, right? Working on those type of skills. Maybe you got a church service to go to, right? Take your family to. Maybe you're helping your wife cook dinner. Maybe you're helping your wife, maybe you're doing the laundry. Maybe you're, right? I do all these things. I do laundry. I fold clothes. I vacuum all these things like that. Now, my wife, for years, I didn't do any of that, guys. My wife would always do these things, right? And I just, I took it, I, I didn't even, uh, I didn't even, wouldn't even tell them thank you, right? So that's another simple thing. Are you, are you saying thank you, right? The clothes don't fold themselves, gentlemen, right? The clothes don't get washed themselves. The food don't get made themselves, right? These are tasks that most of the time we don't tell our wives even thank you for or step in and take over and do occasionally for them or even do all the time, right? Because we're a partner. It's a group, gentlemen. This is, I mean, this is a partnership, right? We are together. I should say group. We are together. We are one. So be one. And don't forget that. And this is what this is about. This is about stepping up, man. Again, I get it, man. You're tired when you come home from work and all these things. But that's when it's really about it. Are you really going to be about it then? Are you going to be a man? Are you going to be a boy? Are you going to be a daggone boy? Are you going to be a daggone man? All right? That's why we do what we do on here, gentlemen. I get it. I've been there. Like I said, I've been there. I've been a little boy in my 30s, right? Bitching, moaning, and complaining about everything overweight, out of shape, get off work, didn't want to do shit, didn't want to put in the time, didn't want to put in the effort, but that's what this is all about. And anytime you want to, you can change it on. I'm telling you, I know it's hard, but it is so daggone worth it, gentlemen. It is so daggone worth it. And I'm going to tell you, you're going to notice in your wives, you're going to notice in your children, you're going to notice it all around, you're going to notice in yourself. All right, when you put in the work, and you're about it every day gone day, and you keep on trying, and when you fall, because we're going to fall, we're going to fall, we're going to fail, you get back up, and you get right back dang on to it. That's what this is about. That is why I do these coffee talks on here. That's why I try to motivate and inspire you guys. I've been there. I've done it too. All right, and this is the coffee talk I'm telling myself. So every day we've got a choice. Are you going to be a boy or are you going to be a man today? Are you going to embrace the hard, or are you going to be a lazy, whining little boy? I'm asking you men that I'm asking myself today because I'm making a choice right now. Today, I'm going to be a man again. I already put in my workout. I already prayed. I got some laundry started. About to switch that out. It's time to put in work. It's time to get it in. All right? There's time for rest. There is time for rest, right? We all need rest and stuff. But a lot of you, including myself, we've rested plenty. We've rested daggone plenty. Now it's time to get up and it's time to get fucking after it, gentlemen. All right? It's time to get after it. Are you about it or not? Are you a man of action? Huh? Because there ain't too many men of action around, I'm telling you right now. There's a lot that like to talk a lot, but then when it comes to actually acting and putting into work and doing God's work, most people ain't about a daggone thing, guys. So I'm asking you today, gentlemen, I'm asking you, are you stepping up? Are you going to be a part of it? Are you going to answer the call? I know you will. Because you're probably going to get some gang and that's what we do over here, baby. Ah, let's go. All right, anyways, guys, I hope you guys have a great freaking day. Let's crush this daggone week. Let's get after it. And as always, go get you some, baby. Ah.